I'm going to do a, uh, a video here for you showing the through night links. I'm um, doing some beam shots. Um, sometimes I do beam shots around my house, but it's very limiting with the woods and stuff like that. So I wanted to come up here where it's much more uh, wide open for you. So first off, I'm putting on constant uh, 1000 lumens. This is high mode. All right. And this shines way out there. Let that camera focus. Actually, if I go back to the tracks there, it's a little easier to see. But uh, from here to the base of what is a frozen pond, which you can't really see that well, um, it's about 70 yards. And this is throwing an amazing beam. Now, right now, I have no bezel on here. This Lynx comes with, uh, with two bezels. You have a crenulated bezel, which just does change the um, uh, beam shot just a little bit, which I'm going to show you here. And then you also get the diffuser. So right now, I just want to give you a shot here. Let me actually turn the camera down just a little bit and kind of pan across a little bit back and forth and show you this. Actually, if I go up, you might not be able to see it in the camera because it's not going to focus. Hold on. Let's get this to focus again. You can't really see it, but I can see out to 100 yards of this flashlight very easily. I mean, the beam shot, the throw is, is phenomenal for a, uh, a smaller light like this. Again, running on one eighteen six fifty. And I can easily see across the pond there, okay, which is 100 yards. 100 yards plus. Uh, as far as the spill, um, it's pretty wide. I mean, it's not completely all flood or anything like that. It's mostly throw, but it does offer a lot of ambient light around it. All right, so now as I come back down here, I'm let that focus. I want to show you the difference with the um, the uh, diffuser. All right, so in just a second, let me install that on the front here. When you put the diffuser lens on, you don't get as much throw, but you get a hell of a lot more spill. So, I mean, you get a really, really nice wide beam, super even too. And it distributes all this light, um, you know, evenly throughout probably a little bit less than the uh, where the pond was before. So maybe 50, 60 yards or so, but it's probably, I don't know, 30 or 40 yards wide. It's an entire area light. And looking out here like this, it makes a huge difference. It's really, really cool. So the one thing I want to show you, I'm actually going to point down at the ground and try to give you more of an aerial view down. Because I want to show you the difference when you go from the diffuser. So right now, again, we're on high. Okay, you can total area light, you can see everything just fine, right? Without the uh, diffuser piece on there, I'm going to put this on high again. Now this has no bezel. Now you can see there's a much stronger hot spot right in the middle because it's, it's trying to have a lot more throw here. It's more concentrated with that smooth reflector. Now, let me see if I can drape my arm down here so you can see the outside ring. See that outside ring? As I move forward, it's nice and smooth. This is just bare. There's no reflector, all right? So there's no, uh, the, the crenulated bezel is taken off, basically. The one thing I notice is that when I put the bezel on, and that is this ring right here, I do get some artifacts, okay? And this is with the, re the, um, the bezel nice and uh, flush. In other words, it's completely screwed down. But with this, even though it looks pretty smooth, if I bring this in more, you guys might be able to see that outer ring. All right, so let me kind of do that again for you. Nice uh, hot spot in the middle, tons of throw. Again, if I throw this out there, I mean, it's, it throws a light way out there. This will even focus. So really cool, throwing a hell of a lot of light out there. But I did notice there is a, uh, an artifact, all right? The light is escaping through a ring. In person, it's a lot brighter. It's hard for you to tell, really, in this video. But again, as I come down, there's a large ring. It's a little annoying when you're in a big open area. But uh, for most of you guys are using flashlights for, if you're indoors or even in a wooded area, it's something I did not notice at all. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to come up here and test. This is a perfect place to test flashlights. I can see out to a thousand yards. So, I mean, if I'm throwing some light out there, I might see something like this that I normally would never see where I am because the woods will dissipate that. So, fantastic throw on this. Let me uh, pan around again and show you this. Which is really awesome. So, I love the Lynx. Told you it has the... Uh, you know, adjustable or programmable uh, settings. There's three of them. So you can choose whatever light settings you do like. Let me get that to focus again. But anyway, there you go. Very cool.
All right, so that's it, guys. Um, I much prefer to do beam shots out here, so hopefully I'll do that in the future with other uh, uh, flashlight reviews. Um, using a flashlight in the woods is a little bit different than using it in a wide-open area like this. So, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.